Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to be doing a pinky purple look. Really hope you enjoy. If you like the look of this stuff, stay tuned. Right, so today I'm going in with this primer. Already I've got on my Smashbox. I love that stuff. I'm running, I keep going through it like I don't know what. I've used Natasha Denona today. I used it the other day and I loved it. It's the 30W. It's um, light to medium warm, but it's very matte. I was going to go with a creamy product, so I was going to do creamy cheeks, and then I thought, no. The only cream I'm putting on is like a liquid. The rest is going to be matte, so it's matte. It's a really good colour match for my skin at the minute because I've got a bit of a tan. Um, right, let's go. So I'm going to put some primer on. I'm going all over. No, we're not. We're going all over with this. We're going P. Louise. Oh, what? Yeah, let's get this on as a background colour. So I think I need a brush for this. I need a... Uh, a lot. What kind of brush can we use? Hmm. It's a nice one. It's an even better. No, no. There we go. We're going to use a little... What's the word? I very forgetful. I think it's not sleeping. It's a little synthetic hair one, which are better for using cream products on. I'm going to zoom you in and we'll get cracking. So I've got my mirror right in view so I can do, see what I'm doing with you. Hope you can see. I will try my best to keep in view for you. I'm going to be going in with a side to start with. Right. So I put a bit of this on the back of my hand. Don't need a lot. It really goes a long way. I've been messing about with bits and pieces on the back. It's so thick, it's brilliant. I'm going to be going in as well on top of this with some glitter eyeliner. You know, and you just fancy a bit of something different. I'm going to bring this right up. So far, I am loving the P. Louise primers. They're, they're just perfect. They just sit on your eye like a second skin. I love. Absolutely love. Thank you very much, Ashley, for getting me all of these. In me element. And this colour is stunning. I'll put all the details, all the products in the description box, so have a look. I want to go up. That's it. Oh, it's beautiful. There we go. We're quite high up, aren't we? We're going to bring this out. Now, I've got E. I, had, I did funny. This is the second makeup look I've done today. Earlier, I did a makeup look, like a bronzy look. I'm trying to do as many videos as I can to get them filled in for you because I don't know when I'm going back to work but I've just been uploading them anyway so I'm not bothering schedule I'm just putting them up for you because I'm getting loads of emails from people saying thank you for all the content because they're bored so if you want to watch them I'll keep doing it but we did um we had yeah so anyway I did my makeup look and I'd also been in the garden this morning just make sure that has increased. No, it's fine. So I've been in the garden this morning. I got a bit of a tan. It just topped me or tapped me vitamin D up. And in any way, the bin we've lost. We've been lid. And Jordan tried to con 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 contact the council, but they wouldn't send another bin lid out. So we've got no bin lid, and it gets wet and smelly. So we'll be using the incinerator bin lid over the top of it. Otherwise, the crows and everything get everything out the bin. And then they spread it all across the garden, bones and everything. And then the dogs go running out and eat the bones and choke and die. And I'm exaggerating, but it's how I plan in my head. So anyway, I go out to clean the bin because it's. I went to get it off the drive today after the bin men had been, and there was some like curdled crud stuck all the way up the side in the middle. It was disgusting. So not only did the thing have tons of spiders on, it was curdled with cream and stinking. And with the heat, you know what's going to happen. Come the summer, we'll end up with flies and maggots. So I'm out the back, messing about with bleaching a bloody bucket. And the neighbour come out and she said, do you want to use me, um, me hose? 
So I was like, yeah. So I started hosing the mess down, cleaned all the bin up, lovely. And she gave us some bin liners and some like powdered air freshener for the bin. And she was saying that if you just spray fly spray and it'll be brilliant. And it wasn't until out the front she says, E, have you been somewhere? And I thought, well, no, we're on lockdown. I said, I've been in the garden getting a tan and <laughs> I'm laughing. And she says, and then I thought, oh, no, my makeup, ah, yeah. And I said, I've just been doing a tutorial. I says, go from glam to clean and poop and stink out of a bin. <laughs> the things you do. E, we can't get any muscovada sugar still. It's all gone. But Asda had put, um, they've repackaged their own, like, flour. So there's packs of one kilogram flour there on the shelf as well, which is which I thought was really nice. Cause loads of people are cooking at the minute, aren't they? Do I want to go right up? I put, I feel like I want to go right up. This stuff's brilliant. Look at that. That's actually quite nice on its own. But we're not we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put some stuff on. I decided to go in with the bright matte palette. Do me out quick. So we're going in with the EYN palette, the bright, the bright mattes. Love this palette. I'm gonna go in and use some of these on the bottom. So I've got sugar plot like I've got living for lavender, which I've Probably pat on a little bit to like set this and then I want to go in with something like Grape, Grape Escape or Drama Queen, these two dark purples here. And then we've got a really nice uh, glitter liner. I'm very forgetful at the minute and I hope, I th I'm, I'm get honestly really, really worried. But I think it's because I'm not sleeping properly. Like, and I'm really not sleeping properly. I go to bed alright but then I wake up and I'm just brain's far too alive to even get back over and I'm also worried about work and stuff coming up right let's get a little synthetic brush and we're going to go in with lavender living for lavender all over so. can you see all right I can see a little bit in the viewfinder but I want to make sure that it's all good for you I love filming on my iPhone, I really do, but I know a lot of these are bought in this way. So I'm trying to make it as best as possible for you. Just pat that on. Now, Lilac and violet's a nice colour. It makes brown and green eyes pop. It's not a colour that would make blue eyes pop, but dark purple really would. So, yeah. Now we're going to go in with white lies, and I'm going to get this under the brow bone. Take a little brush for that. I'm going through all my brushes now because they're all needing the wash. I keep putting them in the box that I take downstairs with us because there's a. I've got a special box. And I take it downstairs every single time I've done a makeup look with all the makeup products so I can put them into the description box for you because I upload it all on the laptop if I'm not on the go. So I've been doing that lately and I just dump all the dirty brushes in that box and the dirty brushes are adding up and I keep taking the products back out. So I've got to get them done. But we've actually been quite busy. So I'll get them all washed up again. You don't half go through some when you're doing your makeup looks. I think I need to do a bit of blending. I've got that just very white, isn't it? Let's take that brush there. Yeah, I only need a little one. And let's see what we're going to do. We're going to pat on some dark at the outer corner. Yeah. I think I've come out a bit too blunted and sharp. I tell you what, it doesn't half stay put. It's brilliant stuff. I love it. Thank you, Ashley. Really loving it. And I love my base study and my soft ochre I got. I got them off, um, I got the soft ochre off James, but we bought, we bought base study. I've never had paint pots before. Not that I can remember anyway. 
Go out with skate. Let's go in with this one here and keep the dark one till the mid the end. Got to have something to look forward to, haven't we? Very dark mind. Oh, right. And off. Oh, look at that. I'm going to just pat that on. This is a really good eye primer. You can just tell. Sometimes when you put products on top of, like I've got the, I love, don't get us wrong, my Urban Decay Primer Potion. But sometimes when I'm putting products on top of it, it's patchy. And it's irritating because it just, it spoils the look straight away. You've got to have a free flow and eyeshadow look. This is just free flow and I can tell. leave that there for now as long as I've got it on oh I'm hoping to do a Skype call with Mia and um, the whole family are going to get on a Skype call but it's setting everything up and it, they're in they're in the beach house at the minute because it's the Mantegna's a beautiful family I've spoke about them before my videos so whenever if I ever get to go back to LA be going straight to them to say hello and have a meet up but until then we're all going to do a virtual catch up on Skype so I downloaded Skype finally it's not that hard which is just as well because I'm terrible but we'll get on there and I can see Mia and Arlene and Gia if she's around Gia's busy she, she won't be at the minute because they're all on lockdown but it'll be lovely to see them again because I haven't seen them by years because I stopped having, I stopped working in London and obviously I don't get the chance to go to LA for work and they always shout us up if they come to London but for me it's a six hour drive and it's, it's expensive so unless I'm there working I can't really do it so we don't get to see each other often but Mia she's, we've got, we're on Instagram together just the one that sends us all the makeup looks to do. She wants us to do a Britney Spears one. So we'll get that done. I've got quite a few requests from her. Now I feel like I've got to come down a bit on here. I don't know why, but I've got my hand here. Do you find, like, my mum does something weird. She sticks her tongue out when she's concentrating. And I didn't like the look of it, so I've always made sure I keep it in my mouth. But loads of people do weird things when they're concentrating. What do you do that's weird? Now we'll go in with... What's the we'll go? She'll go in with a, a slightly lighter. She'll do pink. No, we're not doing pink. She'll do pink. Mm. Should we do like a, yeah, I think we might do a little bit of pink. No? Oh, no, 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 we won't. We're going to go in with purple power. That one there, it's middle tone. Purple power, I've decided. Let's hope it works. Need a little brush. Ah, there we go. Purple power it is. Keep doing this with my hand. I don't know what's. Oh, I think it's because I'm excited. Pop that on. There we go. Get that up there. Take a nice transition colour into that dark. Kind of everything's at an angle. And then do the same on the other side. E, I tell you what, the weather's been beautiful today. Really pleased with it. I'm just packing them on for now and then I'm going to blend them out and hopefully they'll blend nice together. It's actually going nice together there. Yeah. 
a little bit higher up and then I can go back in with that white just to make it up there I love purple looks I've got to be honest there was one I did years ago I think it was like a purple bride like a purple and lilac bride and it was my favourite look for bridal and then just recently I've done like a romantic colour colour like a really glam kind of soft muted pink with hmm, what we call plum plum yeah like a plum deep plum I think it all depends on what eye colour you are and how heavy you want it and if obviously a lot of people get their makeup um, their photographs taken on the day and you want to look good don't you for your photos so you need your makeup to stand out as well but you don't want it to look too trampy and trashy so it's a fine balance isn't it now where am I let's see I'm going to go in with this is what I'm looking for hope this works this is where the I'm going to have to blend that out a bit because I need to it's not completely blended I'm going to do a bit more there Just pulling it, it works lovely, just pulling the colours together. Still there, quite dark. That could do, we're blending a bit into that there, which we're going to do. We'll pull that and pick it up. You need a bit more on the brush to get that up there. Oh. We'll get there. I'm kind of learning all over again to be honest it's been that long since I did all of this kind of stuff yes you, you lose you you lose it if you don't if you don't use it you lose it you really do I'm just looking for eyeshadow brushes here I think I've eaten them all oh, I can't use that mm, right okay we will be using another one no one a little one come on right 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 i found one I found a little mac one it's not the shape i'm after but it'll do is it no haha -ha, i found one <laughs> get in right we're going in with this out the morphe's hit the lights really nice lilac not only is it a nice lilac it's got just the right amount of sparkle this is going to go over the whole lot it's beautiful just gives a little bit of oomph and it helps blend that line in that's lovely pat it right on then come right up I'm just going to go over the lot gently pat it on that's really pretty and I am super impressed with this base. Now, someone last time they checked, I think the um, the matte eye brights palette had sold out. So I don't know if it's still sold out. But if you do get it, I think you'll be impressed. It's a um, very, very, very nice palette. I'm really loving matte on my eyes. But then I'm kind of addicted to any cream product. So I'm I'm just having so much fun doing all this. Like I got an lovely, lovely email this morning of somebody who wants to send us something in the post as a thank you and then like because they said they won't be using the products themselves, someone will get some use out of it and they know I'll enjoy it. I thought that was really lovely. And then whatever I don't use there's a refuge not far up the road from us so I can donate it all and let someone use it and people who really need it. So it's just brilliant, isn't it? I think it's time. Oh, I like, I'm liking that. I hope you can see. I think we're quite, it's quite there. <laughs> it is quite there. I think I'll do some blending. In fact, I know I've got to do some blending. I don't want to blend it out fully 
so I'm going to go easy and do Living for Lavender just a touch of that one there, the light one and we're going to blend that we're going to top it out so I need a big brush for this something like that just a touch and we're going to just pink and that out and then we can blend that into the white it's just to give it a bit of something because it's a bit harsh at the minute isn't it? Oh, I tell you what, though, I'm loving, I'm loving, 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 loving playing with makeup. I'm going to be so sad when I go back to work because all I'm going to be thinking about is playing with makeup. But I got my head switched on, it'll be fine. Just get used to it again. Have I even picked a lip colour? I'm useless. No, I haven't. That'll take a while. Never mind. We'll have to pick a lip colour, won't we? And then on top of that, I'm going to go back in with that white. Just to highlight under here. I love hearing the birds, I love having the windows open, there's something beautiful about it. Now, I've got this Nip and Fab Lilac Lights, I'm going to put a tiny, tiny, tiny dot right in the inner corners after I've put my liner on. So today, let's get something on underneath, I think what we're going to go with, I hope you like, can see what I've done. Underneath, I'm going to go in with the darkest purple, but I need some primer for that, so I'm going to use... Soft Ogre, no that's the wrong one, gone in the wrong pot. I'm going to go Soft Ogre because this is a good base, clear base, to get a colour on without showing through. I've got a white P. Louise base which I'm going to use next for something. And I'll tell you what, some lush colours I can play around the palette, I cannot wait. I'll get your brushes done though. Right. Pencil brush, I've got lots of. Ta da! Okay, I'm going in with Drama Queen. Yeah, I'm going to go even darker. I'm going to take it to the next level. I'm going in with the last one, Drama Queen. Get this on the lower lash line. And then we're going to paint some white on it because white always looks amazing with purple. go quite thick with this as well decided get that right in there I keep hearing dogs that sound like mine barking out there it gets me I'm like got like get it sorted one of them's in heat, so they're both bonking on the passage steps. Now the reason she's in heat is because we didn't get a spade because she's got a heart condition and I'm frightened to put her under unnecessarily and we don't have any boys here and they don't get off the lead anyway. So she has her heat and she had a phantom pregnancy last time so keep an eye on her for that. But I just don't like the idea of putting her under in case something goes wrong because she's got an enlarged heart well this is what the vet said years ago but when I read about enlarged heart once it's been diagnosed they don't get long to live so I don't know she's been absolutely fine she's fit as a lop I cried all week after I heard that news like I was going to lose her and I thought stop crying because you're going to need to cry when she really does go enjoy it while you can but dogs get the better of you don't they bless them I get all upset when I think of dogs 
Right, so we've got that dark now. I'm going to go in with this white pencil. This is Rimmel. Let's zoom in and you can have a good look up close. I'm going to do some eyeliner in a minute and some mascara. Get it right in. There we go. It's a cold look, but it's actually not. It is on the camera, but it's a cannon. Shotgun. It's actually quite a warm purple look. I'll take some photos for you and I'll put all my photos that I do my videos on. I'll put them all on Instagram. So if you want to have a look at my photos, check the Instagram link in the description box. And you'll see them all there with all the products as well. But I'll be putting the products in the links this, in this video. So just check the pull down. I like that. I do like it. We need a black though to bring it in. I like blacks to bring it in. Now I did have one separate, yeah. Now, I love this one. So I've got a couple. I've got, hang on, I'm just going to check. Oh, that's lovely and smooth. We'll use this one today. I'm using I'm using Maybelline Colour Show. Yeah, lovely. Ready? Off we go. Get that on the outer corner. And it just looks amazing with the matte and the purple and the white. I only go about halfway, maybe three, I think a quarter to halfway in. So I'm going to mix it up. I'll be doing some videos on the Canon. So you can see right up close to what I'm doing. And I'll also be doing some videos on the iPhone. So you've got like the more you're in the room with this feel. On top of this, I'm tempted to put up this, but I don't know if I'm going to ruin it. Probably will, won't I? Because it looks so nice the way it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this a miss. Am I? Shall we do it? Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm tempted, but I'm not. Right, I'm going to show you it. And leave it out if you don't want to copy it. I totally understand. But I'm going to do it anyway. You've got to experiment, haven't you? Off we go. So we're going to put this right away along. Now, last time I used, when I did a looky dip, I found the turquoise one. And it I put it so close to my lash line and it was wet that it ran into my eye. And it stung all night long. So... Be careful, because you do actually get quite a lot of product on these brushes. I'm going to lift that up just a little bit like that. Can you see? Get right in here. There we go. There we go. That's actually not bad. It's not. I wanted it dark. That gives a bit of sparkle to it. Got pigeons having sex on the roof as well. So they're going to have babies soon, and then I have to clean the poo up out the garden. I'm going to have to move them. I feel bad, but I have to do it. Oh no. Gone too thick there, look. See? Yeah, just take it off. It's God, it's come off. Don't want it too thick. Just trying not to get any gaps because obviously with it being a gel and it's got um, glitter in it, what tends to happen is the glitter particles tend to cling together and then you end up with like um, see-through see -through gel. So you have to put a couple of coats on with this stuff but it's really nice when it gets on there. I think I'll just put a bit of that take it back off that's it go back over it just a little bit it's more controlled there we go there we go 
I'm happy with that. Let's get some mascara on now. I'm using Maybelline Falsies. Love this mascara. Look at the brush. Get right in there. Yeah, the glitter, it does hurt your eye a little, so you're going to have to use a nice, um, like a, a cleansing remover for this. Because I tend to take my makeup off the majority of it with a wet wipe, and then I'll do cleansing and clean, like uh, moisturiser. But I've been lately taking it off with cleanser. Because it leaves a stain behind some of these makeup products, especially the P. Louise stuff. Even my fi my eyes were red when I used the pink one. It was so funny. Martin says you look like you've got eyeshadow on already. So which is handy. You roll out of bed, go to work with stained eyes. I'm dreading to use the turquoise one though. Really like this look. I'm glad I put the glitter on. It's turned out really nice. Always makes my eyes look brown when I put lilac on. Crazy. That's as good as my lashes are going to get at the minute. The suffering was doing all the tutorials. Now I know why a lot of the YouTubers use false lashes. Not only that, but it doesn't half make the pictures look pretty when everything's uniform and you haven't got like spider legs. And a lot of people's lashes are spider legs. Let's zoom your back so there we go. I really like that. Get your back out. We'll do some blush. Do some lips. Get the brows on. Come on. Get out. There we go. Let's do some brows. So, you know me, at the minute, I'm loving. It's starting to leak into my eyes. I can feel it. So, I'm loving, at the minute, me spoolie. Me Bare Minerals Mist. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. Spray it. Get any excess off. Give me brows a bit of a brush and it just wets it. And then I'll go over with some eyeshadow powder. I've got a brow kit, Barry M brow kit, but I don't know where I'll put it. It'll be in one of the boxes I've took makeup downstairs to, to list it all for my videos and then I forget to bring it back up. But I've got this one here. I love the elf stuff. Just a bit powdery. So that's the one we're going. Necessary nudes. I love this palette. I honestly cannot see it, see it enough. I just love it. The quality of the colours as well. Look at that. It just darkens it right out. Tonight we're having salmon. And potato and carrot mash. With some vegetables. Probably that's long tender stem broccoli. I think it is. Green beans? Maybe. And today I decided when I got up, because I put quite a considerable amount of weight on, that I will not be eating carbs as much as possible. So apart from my vegetables, which are a good carb, I won't be eating potato. So I'm going to be doing without tonight. But potato doesn't half pack the pounds on me. Last time when I cut it all out, it worked great. So I'm going to have to do that again and get on the treadmill and move my booty. Well, I might go on the treadmill with me makeup on. <laughs> so I might go straight across here and do go down. Nice thick look. Oh, that's nice. There. <clears throat> this one looks lighter than this one, so I'll just gently fluff it up. Done. I'm happy with that. Now let's do some blush. I've picked a few different ones you could try with this look. Anything, like when you go lilac on your eyes, you want to go a nice pink. I don't always think make your, lip, your cheeks look pink, pink. So I've picked this and I'm going with matte because I've got a matte. So I've got Dream Matte Blush, Maybelline. The thing with this is it looks really nice in the tub. Well, it's nice, but it looks colourful then what you do is there's just it, not much shows up okay and you put it on the back of your hand and you can see look it doesn't matter how many 
times I do that it's very 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 sheer but it's matte so if you wanted a nice sheer matte product on your, on your cheeks that's the one to go with you can't put too much on you'd have to really try you put the whole tub on to get some colour so it's a nice gentle blush I'm going in with this one beauty powder blush tippy it's the MAC Hello Kitty collection I also chose this one for you to choose from so similar in colour powder brush sorry powder blush crush on blush it's unfiltered and it's by CYO equally as good I am just haven't played with this for a while so I'm going to have a play I'm going in with me real techniques brush I love look nice little bit now I'm just going to gently gently swish that off my cheeks I don't want a lot and it looks like there's a lot there I'm going to get away with the same I have to put a bit more it's quite a pink oh look at that that looks really pink what I think I will do is uh, what we got hope this is the light one yes cool okay so if you go over too much on your cheeks without taking everything back off because that feels a bit too much for me however yeah a bit more so a bit more than I planned it's very pink going with something like that lighter shade NC15 MAC pressed I'm going to try and calm that down a bit it has calmed it a little bit pink as hell isn't it and then on top of that I wanted to go in with this I love the Nip and Fab stuff Lilac Lights <clears throat> can't believe there's a little one in sun uh, super dry super dry super drug I need some sleep <laughs> right liquid gold this one is lilac lights number four there you go let's have a try of that so put a bit of that on the hand and it's almost it's got like a it's very pearlescent it's very nice you do not need a lot need a little brush for this one so use a synthetic one Concealer brush, backstage beauty one. Look at that. Don't put it in your hair like I've just done. But considering it's a cream product on top of a, a matte product, it's flown well. It's actually flown really well. Pick that back up. I love the sound of the birds. I think they're saying good night. It's that time of day where they're all going to bed. I love hearing them on the morning. Like at three thirty in the morning when I wake up in a state of panic after a nightmare or something. Hearing the birds sing just soothes us. Lovely. It's not gonna be like that though in the winter, is it? That's why I don't like the winter, I think. Because it feels lonelier. Even though I know I can wake Martin up and he love he, he doesn't mind. He'd walk around the he'd walk around South Shields with us if I had to walk. Because sometimes if your heart's going funny, it's nice to get the energy out. But I just don't like waking them up. So I lie there a lot in the dark by myself, feeling a bit I don't know, a bit scared. I'm getting better at thinking. It's just chemicals. It's just you'll be fine. But it does get the better of you sometimes. Now we're gonna find a lipstick. But which one? Creme de la femme, my poo. Yeah. Shall I? Shall I? Not using meltdown. Creme de la femme or happy hibiscus. Oh, oh, it's got to be that one, hasn't it? 
Happy hibiscus. It smells like vanilla. Get in. Oh. No. <laughs> not this, not yet. It's a bit too much. Hang on. Very cool. It's very creamy, but it's not right. Let's try a bit of this. Creme de la femme. There's nothing for your teeth makes them look really weird. Mine look weird anyway, but that colour makes them look proper yellow. Oh, I used to have this red lipstick and had like a blue hue and it made the teeth look super white. Anything with blue in. Oh. I think we've reined it back in a bit. There, we'll go. Creme de la femme it is. Mm. There we go. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this. I love, love, love. I like, I love that eye look. I'll take some photos for you. Remember to check us out on Instagram. I'd love it if you followed us as well. I've just gone past 5,000 and honestly, it feels amazing. I know it's like nothing to some people, but it's huge to me. You Honestly, you've no idea. And on Facebook as well, I've been doing some lives and the engagement and interaction is brilliant. Loads of you are checking in on us and see if I'm there. And um, yeah, it's just brilliant. But I'm at like... Yeah, it's really exciting. I get a bit excited about, a bit too excited about, to the point where I don't sleep. But I'm gonna have to go to sleep soon because if I go back to work, I'm gonna be no good, fast asleep on the tiles. Anyway, I really, really hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned for loads more on the Canon and the iPhone, um, and let us know what you like. I still like to know what your thoughts, and I'll see you on a bit. Zoom, zoom. <laughs>